Okay, here's a new technique I call tiny planets. As you can see on the left, we have basically a nice long horizontal image. Uh, what we want to look for when we're actually taking the photographs, it could be a wide panorama or just kind of a straightforward photograph, but we want to have a horizon line that's straight across and the tones are even on the edges, on the right and on the left side of the image. We're going to sphericize that, that photograph and turn it into this tiny planet you see here. Let's go to Photoshop. So in Photoshop, we've got the image all prepped, and there's basically only three or four steps. Number one, we want to go to Image, Image Size, and we want to change the uh, proportions so we turn this photograph into a square. We're going to turn off Constrained Proportions. We're going to leave Resample Image selected, and then we're going to take the numbers here at the top, the width and the height, and make sure they're identical. 2948 in this case. When we hit OK, we should have a distorted image that looks about like this. Second step, image, image rotation, 180 degrees. We turn it upside down. Step number three, filter, distort, polar coordinates. We can zoom out to take a look at what our effect is going to look like at the end. Make sure it says rectangular to polar and hit OK. There you go. Now there might be a little, few little things that you want to do, like retouching the seam out, but there you go. I'm Rick McCauley, and that's Tiny Planets.